What's up, everybody, and welcome to Clown Live! It is Monday, it is 5 p.m., and you are watching, like I literally just said, Clown Live. This is an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons, and I'm your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. What up, though? How's been your weekend? We did a little pop-up show yesterday, if you weren't uh, around on Amazon for Sunday. Ema and I did a little sit-down show here at the desk. It was really cool. I feel like my angles are off today on my camera, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll work through it. Um, yeah, my uh, my last 24 hours has been okay. We did some uh, napping. I took a little nap after the live show yesterday, and then I slept a little a little longer than I should have, so my nap turned into almost a sleep, and then I stayed up all night. I went to bed at like two in the morning, maybe a little bit earlier, uh, and I just couldn't sleep. I stayed up until maybe like five thirty, six o'clock this morning. So I ended up getting a little bit of rest, though, of course. And uh, Mima started her new time at her job today. So instead of leaving at 1 p.m., she ended up leaving at 2 p.m. And instead of starting work at 2 o'clock, now she starts at 3 o'clock. And instead of coming home at 1030... You guessed it. She'll be coming home at 1130, an hour ahead for everything now. So that's going to be an interesting dynamic to see how we transition into that time zone, uh, time frame, excuse me, and uh, start dealing with uh, sleep differently, perhaps. I don't know. But we both agreed that um, we both agreed that uh, we've got to eat differently, even if we continue to eat poorly, which is not a good choice. Okay. Like a but I'm saying, but even if we make the decision to continue to eat poorly, uh, maybe that's okay, but we've got to do it earlier in the day. So I don't think it's smart that like we, Mima comes home and likes to make dinner and she'll make dinner. We might not eat until maybe 1130 or midnight. And now for her to come home at 1130 and maybe not eat until, until uh, like one in the morning seems like really, really bad for the body to eat like a dinner sized meal at that time. <clears throat> Yo, we got 16 people in the chat watching. Nobody's saying what's up. Thumbs up to the lurkers. If you can hear me, literally just say anything in the chat so I know I got a couple people hanging out with me here on this Monday edition of Clown Live. We've got a whole uh, table full of products to talk about today. I think I've got like one B-roll video at the end of the show to, to show you all. So I think, uh, I think I got my water. It's not a think. I definitely got it. It's right here. Uh, drinking out of a different cup. This is my barrel mug. I like my barrel mug as well. I love the barrel mug. But there's something about the skull cup with the lid on it that is really, really great. 
<clears throat> okay, well, you know, I think that uh, I feel like I don't have enough lights on, but my lighting looks good here. So I think I'm just going to roll with it. Um, yeah, that's it. Here we are. It's Monday. It's time to start Clown Live. It's quiet in the chat. Let's just jump right into the products and do a two-hour show today. If you see anything in the carousel that you'd like to talk about, let me know. If there's anything not in the carousel that you'd like to talk about, let me know. We can definitely look it up and take a look at it together. Uh, as long as it's here on Amazon.com. You know what I'm saying? So without further ado, let's start the products today. If you have any greetings in the chat or any engagement to share, please do. Please do. Uh, well, uh, yeah, that's it. Let's start the show. And I know some more stuff will come to mind as we need to talk about it. Let's kick things off today with the Noco Genius 2x2. Two two. This is is a really awesome battery charger. I kind of got it scattered on the table. I got a lot of stuff on the table today, so I got things a little bit scattered. Okay, here's the box. <clears throat> One sec. <clears throat> you know how it is. Shake out that rust. Here we go. Oh, we went from 16 to 9 viewers. Yo, let's like maintain 10 viewers. Oh, 7 viewers now. 7 viewers now. So now that we started products, everybody has something else to do. Um, what is it that we do to maintain engagement while talking about products that people want to stay? Because as soon as we started putting the product on the table, chat cut in half. So I wonder what we can do about that. Let's get fully engaged in the chat, okay? And let's continue talking about the Noco Genius 2x2. This is a full, oh, you know what? <laughs> Man, it certainly is Monday. Let me open my OBSBOT software. I always, always, always forget to set that up. Always forget to set that up. I'm going to have to set up my stream deck to. Uh... I'm going to have to set up my stream deck so that I can press a single button and launch everything I need for the show. That would be pretty cool, actually, if I did that. Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> okay, uh, it's a quiet chat today, so let's push through some products. The Noco Genius 2x2 is a 4-amp battery charger that is two 2-amp two battery banks. It has proprietary ends on it to allow you to connect the included alligator clips or 10-foot extension cable. It does have the two banks, so it does come with the two leads. It's IP6X weather resistant. The body is solid. It has no flex to it, and it operates with a single button to cycle through uh, the different um, functions that are built into the Noco Genius 2x2. This is good for charging 12-volt lithium, 12-volt AGM, as well as 12-volt lead-acid batteries. There's a 6-volt charging mode in this. Also, there is a force charge in here. So if the Noco Genius determines that there's zero, zero volts in the battery, then you can force a charge into the battery. And then once the Genius picks up that there's even a single volt uh, going through that battery through this charger, you know what I'm saying? Then it will kick into a recovery mode and attempt to recondition that battery and bring it back to life. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Definitely your results will vary with that feature, but a very cool feature. It also is a smart charger. So when you put your alligator clips in, which I got to set right here, <clears throat> when you plug your alligator clips in that are on the short lead here, your clips don't, the, the Noco Genius doesn't actually put out a charge until it determines what is connected to it. So if you were to plug it in and do this, I, I don't recommend that you do this, okay? But if you were to do something like this, the Noco Genius just won't, won't put out a charge. So you don't have to worry about sparking here. That's really great. Your positive is fused. Your lead is short so that you can remove the alligator clips, which are held in with these screws and expose just the lead without the clips, permanently attach the lead to your battery, and then use your 10 foot included extension cable to reach uh, you know, the charger. Okay, you can plug this into an extension cord. You can mount this onto a wall. I've had mine for a couple of years. It's really, really awesome. It does everything that I need it to. I bought the two bank one because I have two motor scooters, like two gas scooters. And so I, uh, use the I use the two banks for the two gas scooters so that's really really helpful in the summertime when I'm riding the bikes and I just need to charge I can put this on overnight on both and it's really really small it's really really small and it does have little rubber booties on the bottom to uh, hold it into place on a flat steady surface the Noco Genius 2x2 is available today for $99.95 and has a four and a half star rating with over 2700 reviews 
Okay, let's keep it going now and talk about the Lytra Glow. <clears throat> I do love to perform for the audience, so if you are out there, feel free to say hello. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, we like to have people who watch, but also people who chat with me and uh, keep it going. Let's keep it going in the chat. And let's talk next about this product that I have highlighted in my carousel. This is the Logitech Lytra Glow. This is a really great key light that you can mount on your monitor. It also has the ability to mount to a tripod. Uh, this is what you get in the box is the Lytra Glow with the stand. It also comes with a USB-C cable, which is Maybe on my shelf over here. I have a lot of USB-C cables. Uh, but it's USB-C to USB, that cable that's included with the Logitech. It runs on a USB-C on the back here. This is not battery operated. The stand pulls out in the front so that you can put it on televisions or wider monitors if you need to. Uh, once you get it situated, it does have the ability to adjust in height. You can pan and tilt the, uh, the light. Also, like I said, it has the ability to be removed from this stand. You just unscrew it, and it just is a standard tripod mount, so you can put it on any tripod. This is very light. You can hold it in your hand, but like I said, you're going to need a battery to operate it. It features like a bezel-less design, so instead of the gray part wrapping around the front of the bezel, it's actually the diffusion lens that is wrapped around the bezel in the back, so it just kind of helps diffuse the light a little bit wider, I feel. And that's really cool. It features five different color intensities, ranging from a bright blue to a warm yellow. And each of those color uh, temperatures also have five different intensity levels. So basically 25 different settings you can get on this Lytra Glow by Logitech. This key light's really cool. I've used it for a few things. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the tripod is interesting because, yes, you can put it on a monitor, but you can also extend it and then put the Lytra Glow on it, and it'll stand up at 90 degrees, which is kind of cool. You can stand it on the table like that. Okay, the Logitech Lytra Glow, though, is available for $60 today. It has a four-and-a-half star rating with just over 1,300 reviews. Okay, we're gonna talk about the V-Pod now. This is the Massage Therapy Concepts V-Pod Deluxe Wireless TENS and EMS unit. This thing is pretty sweet because I've used a couple EMS TENS units in my life, but they've all been like small pads with like hard wires and not a lot of settings. The V-Pod Deluxe is pretty great because it comes with some of the largest pads that I've ever seen. When you buy the kit, you get two small pads. This is one of the pad electrodes with one of the uh, pods on it, and then you get two. You get two small, you get two small pads and two uh, uh, pods, as well as one large pad. I've never had to use my large pad, so I've just left it in the in the uh, in the original wrapping. <clears throat> cool. These these connect uh, via Bluetooth to your phone and an app that you can download for free on Google or iOS stores. Uh, these are great because you just they have self adhesive um, they have self adhesive pads that go on your skin. Now I've used mine and they're looking to be replaced. So uh, you know when you get them new, they stick a lot better. But you can put these wherever you have pain. Generally, I'm putting mine under my skin on my shoulder. Uh, and doing like my shoulder, my shoulder gets a little, my shoulder gets a little sore. So that, that helps with this. And sometimes standing when I have this on uh, is really, really good, but no wires and the electrodes are massive. When you download the app, you get 20 different, 24 different settings that have 20 different uh, power intensities. So <clears throat> there's a lot of opportunity there to seek the nuance that you desire in mitigating pain with the V-Pod. Uh, I love this thing. I use it as often as I need to. Generally, I keep it for when I'm feeling really, really sore, but you can use this whenever you want. Uh, it's also geared toward people that do workouts and want to feel like massage 
con like therapy concepts. You know what I'm saying? Just like the name of the business. So they make uh, pads for your abs and they make some for your feet and they make a couple other different sized pads that you can learn about by clicking through the carousel and navigating to the massage therapy concepts store. The VPod Deluxe is available today for $189 as a five-star review with four ratings. Uh, yeah, and it comes with a little bag to keep your pods in. And what's cool about it is that you can pair both of the pods to the same device and use them at the same time. So you can treat two areas uh, with different settings if you want, connecting device A and device B. Very, very cool. I like this a lot. It comes with the adapter that you need to charge it uh, and some instructions. Everything that you need to get going with the V-Pod is included in this kit. Uh, and yeah, it's $189 today. Oh, we're going to talk about the Master Maison knives. I love these knives. Ever since we got them, we don't stop using them. <clears throat> and the regular kitchen knives, that, like the old kitchen knives that I have, I think I'm going to retire to the camper maybe. And then that might be cool. I'm thinking about doing that. Okay, but this is the Master Maison Supreme Series 11-piece kitchen knife kit. What you what you get in this kit is the block. That's piece number one, an 8-inch chef knife. Okay, also... It features an eight inch utility knife, uh, carving knife, excuse me, the eight inch carving knife. These are really nice solid steel knives that are like the whole body and knife is one piece with three rivets holding the handle on. Uh, um, and I like that. These are not too heavy and they are pretty sharp. They're pretty sharp. The Supreme series is the sharpest series offered by master maison okay it also comes with an eight inch serrated bread knife as well as a five inch utility knife that's this one okay and then also included with the utility knife comes a, a three and a half inch pairing knife okay really cool knives i like that they all match and uh, they don't look too different from each other but then also Oh, not but then, and also, okay, there are non-serrated steak knives. You get four of these in the block, and that's what rounds out the 11-piece block. It's a pretty great kit. It's really sharp. The block itself features the ability to resharpen the knives as you need to. So the block isn't just uh, holding the knives. It also serves a secondary purpose, which I think is really great. Uh, this 11 piece kit is available today for $50. Hey, what's up, Jacob? Thanks for coming out today. Uh, we're just wrapping up right now talking about these master Maison knives. And I was just saying that they have a four and a half star review with over 11,000 reviews, almost 11,500 reviews. Uh, and it's $50 today heads up on a great deal. This is 27% off. Normally you're going to scoop this up at $68 and 84 cents today, 49 99. Okay, let's talk about the other Master Maison knife that we got here. And uh, yeah, Jacob, it's been ultra quiet in the chat today. So I'm really, really happy to see you come and join us today. What's been going on? What are you doing? How can we engage with each other? Was that your wife yesterday? Yes, yes, it is. That was Mima. <clears throat> yeah, I've known Mima. Man, we must have known each other now for at least 10 years. And uh, we've been living together, um, oh gosh, I, I think since like the since like the middle of 2018. I think she moved in around the like in the summer of 2018. Uh, okay, let's talk more unless you got some more questions. And we're going to talk now about the Master Maison Damascus Steel Chef's Knife. It's a really nice knife. That is on an ultra deal today. It's 58% off. I often see this. Jacob, I'm not doing I'm not doing Rickroll links today. And I recognize the link. It was the Rickroll. Uh listen, what I'm doing though is I'm talking about this uh uh Master Maison Japanese Damascus steel knife. This is a really nice knife. It comes in its own box, and I like that. <clears throat> 
It has an olive handle on the blade, but we're going to get more into that in just a second. Let me uh, kind of slide this over here and pull this one back just a bit. Yeah. So this is the knife. It comes with a cloth to help keep it clean. It also features a sharpening stone here, as well as a felt and foam uh, inner lining to keep everything nice and well protected when stored properly in the case. Uh, pull it out. It has a nice... Uh, Teflon or plastic coating to reveal the knife. You just pull up and uh, yeah, it has a really, really beautiful Damascus finish. And I haven't read it in a while. So let's go over it again real quick here on the back of the box. Uh, Master Maison says, this knife embodies the uncompromising craftsmanship and durability Master Maison is known for. Imported AUS-10 Japanese steel, premium grade steel that's a cut above the rest, combined with our unique grinding process, results in a razor-sharp blade that's easy to maintain, a joy to use, and manufactured to last for the rest of your life. Fit for a chef, yet made for the everyday cook. That's what I'm saying. They always got dope stuff written on their boxes. Uh, Master Maison knows how to sell their knives. And uh, they don't even need to do the write-up on the box, really, because the knife, the knife itself uh, does itself justice. This is a really, really sharp edge. And like I said, features an olive wood handle with a really, really intricate rivet that holds it into place. I like this a lot. Uh, we use this for making whatever we want. This really just like cuts through a tomato like a piece of paper. I love it. The Damascus steel knife is in an amazing, amazing state of deal today. It's in an amazing state of deal. And uh, it's 58% off, making it $56.99. I feel like that's like the cheapest sale that I've ever seen it on. Usually I see it on sale floating around like maybe like $100. But today it's under $60. It's normally $135. So uh, $57, $57 today for the Damascus Steel uh, Japanese Knife by Master Maison. Definitely a beautiful knife. Okay, what did you say? Oh, was it? I watched some AGT videos today. I watched a British school teacher sing The Sound of Silence. That's what I watched today. Oh, the Master Maison Japanese Damascus Knife. It has... Four and a half stars with 230 reviews. Okay. <clears throat> All right. We only got six people watching, so we're going to skip the demo on today's pluggable because, uh, you know, there's not a lot of people watching. So here's the pluggable, though. This is the pluggable USB digital microscope. It offers up to 250 time zoom capability, not, not up to, it offers 250 time zoom capability. It's a fixed zoom uh, in this in this microscope. It's really cool. It comes with the plate and it comes with the suction cup and the gooseneck and the mount to put the microscope on. The microscope features LEDs that are in this ring so that you can brighten up the specimen that you're looking at uh, by adjusting this dial here. Also, it has a focus knob, so you can really, really get a high level of detail uh, out of this magnifier, whether you're looking at coins or electronics or gem facets or plant material, anything that, um, anything that you want to see up close that you simply just can't see with the naked eye. This pluggable 250 time digital microscope definitely is a huge help. We've looked at like the heads of ballpoint pens and they look massive and in great detail with this pluggable device. Uh, it is available today for 40 bucks and it has a four and a half star rating with just under 6,000 reviews. It's 33% off today. So another great deal. Traditionally, uh, excuse me, traditionally $60 today, $40. All right. So that's that. Now let's take a look at some other pluggable devices that we have. <clears throat> All 
We'll put all these things out because we're going to talk about them back to back. And first up in our in our piece of uh, pluggable thing here, we're going to talk about the USB 3.0 to dual HDMI adapter. This is the box that it comes in. This is the device pictured on the box. Pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's a USB 3 or USB-C adapter to two HDMI outputs. Uh and that's straight, that's like exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. HDMI port one on this device will put out a resolution up to 4K and on HDMI port two up to 1080p. So that's really cool. I watched a pluggable video the other day where they plugged uh, uh, some of these and some of similar products that they have like this, like uh, it was USB 3 to display port and uh, USB to like single HDMI out, but they did run some of these dual HDMI outs. They plugged all of these into a single USB hub and then plugged that hub into the laptop or the computer, whatever that it was a laptop, I believe. And they were powering eight monitors. Now I know it's not like for gaming and you're probably just looking at a lot of still images or whatever, but uh, yeah, they were doing eight monitors with, uh, with six different devices. It was two of these, uh, it was two of these made four, and then they did two display ports and two single HDMI outs. Uh, that was really cool. That was really cool when I saw that. Uh, and they just plugged it, and, and it all worked really easily. So pluggable, just like it is in the name. Features little tiny little booties on the bottom there to hold it into place on a flat, solid surface. And is available today for $59. It has a four-and-a-half star rating with 426 reviews and is normally $65. Today it's $59. It's on a 9% deal. Another deal, another deal in the carousel. That's amazing. Okay, let's drink some water and then keep this pluggable block going. Okay, up next in the carousel, I've got the pluggable Bluetooth adapter. Now, I've got it plugged into my pluggable dual monitor docking station. I will take a look at it in a second. But it's a very small dongle. It's extreme. Look, I'm going to show you this dongle because it's right here and easy to access. The pluggable USB Bluetooth dongle literally looks like this. This is not that dongle. This is a dongle for my Logitech uh K400 keyboard, but they are identical. The only thing that is different in aesthetic is just the branding. Okay. Now let me plug this back in here. And uh, yeah, so this is also what it looks like on the box. This is this is it. This is a Bluetooth 5 adapter. And this pluggable Bluetooth 5 adapter supports Bluetooth Classic and Bluetooth Low Energy. And when used with Bluetooth 5 devices, the range of the adapter can reach up to 40 meters indoors compared to the 10 meter range of previous Bluetooth standards. This works with all Windows platforms and is uh, USB 2.0 compliant. It is available today for $12.95 and has a five star rating with 43 reviews. What's up, Sheila B? Thank you for coming out and hanging out with us, Stargazer. Appreciate you big time today. It's been ultra quiet in the chat we're just chilling out uh pushing through our carousel and then see what happens after that um yeah so that's it the the i hope that you're very well please let me know engage with me in the chat it's been quiet in the chat jacob's been trying to troll me with uh rick astley videos because he got me twice last week and uh i just can't you got me twice so i can never trust another link from jacob unless it was an amazon link okay so uh yeah let's see let's see okay it's just neighbors banging around um you got me good before jacob so only amazon links now okay uh okay so the pluggable us the pluggable bluetooth adapter the bluetooth 5 adapter is available for 13 dollars today now, uh, we're going to talk about this. It's the dual monitor docking station by Pluggable. I've got this plugged in to my computer right now. It's like super, super sketchy to pick it up and move it around. I have to stop doing that. So I'm going to. And uh, it's a quiet show today. It's a really quiet show today. So I think I'm going to, like, I've got the box. I've got the product right. I got to show the product. I can't, I can't, um, I can't not show the pluggable while I talk about it. So let me just grab this OBSBOT software 
and see if we can go down here. Okay, cool. So this is the pluggable docking station. It looks like this. It looks like this. Okay. Let me move the mic. I've kind of got it in kind of a tight spot here because it's running some monitors for me. But it's a really, really cool device. On the back of it, it features four USB 2.0 ports, an Ethernet port, a DVI port, an HDMI port, as well as a display port out. And, and, and it has two USB 3.0 ports on the front side, as well as a headphone and a microphone jack on the front. This thing is pretty great because it runs DVI out from the, from the docking station to DVI in on my monitor here. And then uh, recently, if you've been watching the show, I've been like using uh, like old monitors that I have around the house in anticipation of uh, setting up my Huanuo triple monitor arm stand. Okay. And, uh, and I've decided that those old monitors are just not what I need. They're not what I need. So I've switched back actually to my KYY portable monitor. And uh, this one runs on USB-C, okay? So I actually have this monitor plugged into the laptop, into the laptop's USB-C port, okay? Um, but had pre like previous, before I decided to hook this monitor back up, I was running HDMI out to HDMI to DVI adapter in on the old monitors or... Uh, uh, a DVI to VGA. I was running that out of this pluggable dock and they all just worked really, really good. Even with those old monitors that I had, unfortunately I can't put those monitors in my, in my rotation because they don't have best amounts. So uh, I think I'm going to set up the arm with the center pole because you need that. And then I think I'm going to do one arm off to the left uh, and then and then put my my portable monitor underneath it and have a stack of monitors on the side instead of having like three monitors out. It's just going to be a slow transformation while I decide on what big monitors I'd like to own, uh, you know, with the uh, with the next iteration of the desk. But uh, I got my steel plate. We're going to talk about that later today. OK, the dual monitor docking station, though, is pretty great. It does what you need it to do. And like I said, it runs a display port out to USB 3 uh, uh, in on the on my laptop. So it's a one cable solution to run all that stuff, including, like I said, up to two monitors and internet. The HDMI port puts out up to 4K signal and the DVI is 1080p. Pretty, pretty great. Dinosaurs, we're going to talk about dinosaurs in just a second. The pluggable USB 3.0 dual monitor docking station is $119 today, has a four and a half star rating with 11,000 reviews and uh, is 28% off. It's regularly 165. Today it's 119, an amazing deal. This is great. And if the DVI and the HDMI inputs aren't what you're looking for, definitely click through the carousel, navigate to the pluggable store and learn more about their different docking stations. They have some that are all uh, HDMI out. They have some that have great display port outs, uh, display port out features and, uh, and a few other ones. So this one though is DV DVI out and HDMI out. And like I said, is available today for $119. That's the pluggable dual monitor docking station. Yeah, now let's get into our Prex text block. We're going to talk about the race cars real quick. Okay, these are the Prex Text 2 in 1 cartoon police and race car remote control cars. These seem really fun. Now, admittedly, I never played with them. I didn't play with the toddler toys. I feel like if you've played with one, you've played with several. And uh, I don't think that that's really an excuse to not play with these toys, but I'm just free flow and thinking out loud uh, while I open this box. And this is what the box looks like. You get the you get the race car driver as well as the police officer. And they come in the box. The police officer character comes with his police officer car. Okay. Here's the police officer. He's got a cool hat. 
and a pretty sweet belt. Um, <clears throat> and he's got nice shoes, I'd say. And also, also, here's his car. Here's his car. Now, the cars feature different sounds that are activated by pressing the steering wheel or placing the policeman in his car. He's got like little hole on the bottom of his feet that help him stay into place uh, in the car. And there's other buttons that you can press that do different sounds. Now, the controls that come with this are very, very basic. It, it's designed to go forward and turn in one direction only. So you're not getting a left and a right. You're getting like to the right, you're going right, you know, when you hit the turn button uh, with these. Now you get the remote control for the police car as well as the race car. And here's the race car. Uh, it's red while the police car remains blue. And uh, yeah, it also features a yellow trim, but has a fun green bottom. And the race car driver has a safe helmet on and a cute racing suit. And he fits in his car super easy and has all the same features where you can press the buttons for different sounds. These are designed for toddlers and uh, indicator lamp. There's an indicator lamp. Oh, it's just because you're sending a signal. My mistake. I thought you could activate a light on the, on the race car. Uh, yeah. So this is it. You get two police, you get the police car and the race car, the two drivers, the policeman and the race car driver, as well as the remote controls. And today, this is available for $34.99. You should play with it. Let me uh, let me see. I don't think I have the batteries for this. I never – I've been doing this show for a while, and I still have yet to go to a place and buy a massive amount of batteries. Um, screwdriver to open. I don't have my screwdriver with me, but we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it for another show, okay? Okay. <laughs> the two – car race remote control racing kit is available today for $34.99 and that's 30% off this is regular 50 bucks today it's Okay, now let's talk about the next Prex Text product that we hey, what's up, Travel Diva? I'm doing very well. Thank you for joining me here on Clown Live. I'm just there's not a lot of action in the chat today. So we're just kind of like I feel like I'm going really quickly through the carousel and we just hit our Prex Text block. We're gonna talk about these toddler toys. We just finished talking about the uh, about the police car and the race car driver remote control car kit. Now we're taking a quick look at the dinosaur volcano house. Uh, with five dinosaurs, five plush dinosaurs. And we're also going to be taking a look at the eight piece kit. Um, and they're all, everybody's sleeping in the dinosaur hut right now. Usually I keep the small dinosaurs in the box uh, so that we can differentiate, but we're going to sort them out really quick today. It's very, very easy to do that. Okay. So let's pull them all out first before we start talking about them. But yeah, we can talk about the vol the Volcano House. And that's this, what I'm pulling the dinosaurs out of now. It's really cool. It features like a textured em em embossed like design where the rocks feel like individual because they're all embossed. And I like that it has several different colors on it instead of being one solid color. So that makes it really cool. It features, let's pull all these dinosaurs out. It features a little uh, loop on the top, which is great for hanging it or perfect for like a toddler's hand to grip when they're walking around with their volcano house. It's pretty soft, okay? It's, uh, it's textured on the outside, but remains unfinished on the inside. Okay, it comes with eight, uh, it comes with five big dinosaurs. Uh, let's see, are these the big boys? I think all these are big, one, two, three. No, hold on, I gotta put this down. I think not this one. I think these three and the Brontosaurus and the T-Rex, yeah, okay. Okay, so these are the five big dinosaurs that come with them. This is the T-Rex, okay? He's got fun, soft, sharp-looking teeth. They're just made out of fabric. The hardest pieces that are on this are the eyes. They're made out of plastic, but they feel really secure in the uh, seated into this really, really soft, almost microfiber-like cloth. Uh, that is really great because it seems like uh, you can hand wash this very easily. 
Uh, I like these a lot because they're really soft and cute. Now you get the ones up here in the five. You get the Brontosaurus, the Stegosaurus, the Triceratops. I'm not sure what this dinosaur is called. And you get the Tyrannosaurus Rex as well. That's what you get with the five. And these five dinosaurs, they all live happily in their dinosaur house when it's time to go home. Okay. And then it features a zipper door. Features a zipper door, easy to open and close. And uh, yeah, that's your that's your volcano house with five plush dinosaurs. The dinosaurs here, like I said, are bigger than the dinosaurs that we're going to take a look at next. But uh, excuse me for not highlighting the where are we at? Where are we at? OK, we just took a look at the dinosaur volcano house. Boom. We just did that. It's highlighted in the carousel right now. All right. And today with a five star rating and a twenty five dollar price point, this is definitely something that seems to be uh, good and popular with uh, with a great deal, too. It's twenty nine percent off today. This is regular thirty five dollars for the volcano house with the five dinosaurs that are inside right now. Um, and yeah, five star review with thirty three hundred reviews. Very, very great. Regular thirty five dollars, twenty five dollars today. Save ten bucks. Okay, so that's the Prex Hex Dinosaur House. We're going to leave it in the shot. And let's now talk about the other dinosaurs here. And this is the Prex Tex 8-pack of soft dinosaurs. Now, these dinosaurs are smaller than the dinosaurs that come in the Volcano House. <clears throat> and when I got the Prex Tex Dinosaurs, uh, the 8-pack, they came in like a bag and not a box. So I never really have like a, a thing to display them. But these are the dinosaurs. We'll move the dinosaur house for a second. And these are the eight-piece dinosaurs. You get stegosauruses and tyrannosauruses uh, and, like, other dinosaurs whose names I definitely don't know. Uh, I know the brontosaurus. This is my favorite one. I like his long neck. His head looks funny. Okay? His head looks really funny. Hey, what's up, Lex? Thank you for following. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, Jacob says, G-Zone is always live. Yeah, he is always live. And it's like, it's quarter to six right now for me. He is doing it at like quarter to six in the morning. So when he's live at like 2.30 Eastern, he's like doing it at like 2.30 in the morning, whatever whatever time he is. I think that's crazy. And he goes live multiple times in the middle of the night. He's dedicated. Uh, G-Zone is awesome. He's definitely worth following. Okay, but they do come with the Brontosaurus, and they come with this guy here, and also the Triceratops. And again, these are made out of the exact same material as the large dinosaurs, and just like they're really, really soft, like microfiber, and feel like they're they would be easy to hand wash. Now, the eight pack of Prex Tax plush dinosaurs is available today for thirty dollars, and this is also another product. That has five-star reviews and is designed for toddlers. So I think that says something about the quality of the Prex Tex uh, um, um, line of plush dinosaurs. This has five-star rating with twenty-three, almost 2,400 reviews. Yeah, $30 for the eight-pack today. Okay, let's set the dinosaurs back on the table. And let's see what is next. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs. We did all that. Okay, trivet and anchors. Okay. Okay, this box is for the Tribbit Storm Box Blast. I'm holding it right here. It's really heavy. I'm going to put it down on the table right now, and then we'll show it in more detail in just a second. But the Tribbit Storm Box Blast is going to be a 90-watt portable Bluetooth speaker that features a built-in handle. This is IP67 weather resistant. It features two different lighting modes for the, uh, for the speakers that uh, look like equalizers on these lights on the outside. I think a mine might be... I think mine might be dead. Uh, let's push and not the power button. There we go. So it has two different light modes that you can toggle with the light button that is included on the radio itself, or you can toggle it with the app. There's equalizer that you can mess with with a downloadable Tribit app. This is really fun. It features two different light modes, like I said, and is really, really loud. It's buoyant. It's IP67 weather resistant. It's made out of like a really high quality feeling plastic material. I've watched videos of these things getting tore down. 
These are built solid. It features up to 30 hours of playback time, and it's got a little rubber door on the back that when you open it shows uh, a plug so that you can charge it, a USB out to charge your device, as well as a three and a half millimeter headphone jack line in so that if you don't have Bluetooth connected to it at the time, you can still hardline something to this with, with that three and a half millimeter jack. Now, remember when you open this, it does compromise that IP67 weather resistance. So you don't want to get water in it when, uh, when it's open. This is super loud. Jacob says, I bought my son one of these. Great idea. Great idea. These are, these are portable, but they are a little weighted. They do have weight, but that 30 hour playback, you know what I'm saying, is pretty, pretty sweet. It features the two drivers in the front as well as some tweeters and it has passive bass speakers on the side. So this thing sounds really good. The bass is pretty punchy with it. And uh, yeah, it's super loud. It's super loud for being a 90 watt Bluetooth speaker. Sounds great. When you open it up, uh, it's ready to connect via Bluetooth to your phone without the app. So you can just stream to it without the app if you want. And then if you want to fine tune the light mode or the equalizer, you can download the app and do as such. Super, super easy to... Oh, I'll take a look. I'll take a look at that Amazon link. What's up, Cody Lake? How you doing? Thanks for popping out today. It's Monday. We're doing Clown Live, and uh, yeah, it's been it's been uh, it's been a slower chat today. So I feel like I'm slamming through my carousel uh, quickly. I feel like I'm doing that. And uh, yeah, so the Tribit 90 watt Stormbox Blast is available today for two hundred dollars. That's twenty three percent off. Um, that's 23% off on, on these today. This gives the, uh, this gives uh, Bluetooth speakers like the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus uh, a run for its money. I think this might be like a, a like just like a, a step, like a half step ahead of, of the, of the Motion Boom Plus, but both of those Bluetooth speakers, they both offer different, different types of entertainment. So they are very comparable, but also serve different purposes, I feel. Um, and the Tribit is something that is well portable, a little heavy, and that's all. So I think like the sound core is a little lighter. That's like one pro con. And uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say uh, about my opinion about the difference between the sound core motion boom plus and the Tribit Stormbox Blast. The Tribit Stormbox Blast is crazy, crazy loud, super dope, and very, very clear at loud volumes. Uh, this fills my entire little house with sound. Fills a whole house with sound. Okay, once again, with five-star rating, okay, a five-star rating and just 600 reviews, the Tribit Stormbox Blast is available today for $200. Uh, and now it's going to be the Anchor products. Okay, we're going to talk about capsule first. Okay, now we're going to talk about the Anchor Nebula capsule projector. This is a really fun projector that you can own today for $250. It's on a 17% deal from regular regularly $300 today to 50. When you open the box, it comes with some instructions and a remote control. Also, you can pair this device with the Anchor app and have a little bit more control with it it runs an operating so this is it this is the anchor nebula capsule it's a pop can sized projector that features a resolution of 854 by 480 and uh yeah 854 by 480 it has a manual focus knob and has speakers built into it with a battery so you can watch up to four hours of content on this Nebula capsule handheld pop can size projector has a nice little rubber ring on the bottom to hold it in place as well as a tripod mount. It features an HDMI and USB input on the rear and uh, that's all your inputs and outputs on the top. It has the Nebula branding as well as your volume control power button and uh, multifunction to button <clears throat> at the top. 
I guess that's my orientation that this is the top, but you know, uh, when you're looking at the top of it, all the buttons are on the top, but yeah, it does feature a power button and a multifunction button. Uh, and it features the Nebula logo in the center, which lights up different colors to represent different things that are happening with the Nebula capsule itself. I use this uh, in the back, in the, in the bedroom here behind the flag. Super, super fun projector. Uh, it's got a little screen door effect being at a resolution of 854 by 480, but still a really, really fun uh whole projector in a pop can it's got the speakers the batteries the projector itself it's got the input it's got the remote control it has the os built into it so you can do everything the complete package in a pop can that's what i'm saying the anchor nebula or beer can yeah or beer can imagine going to reach to this and take a drink out of it while you're at a party that would be pretty funny right <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the Anchor Nebula capsule, like I said, features um, Android OS 7.1, an 854 by 480 resolution, a manual focus knob. You can mount it on a tripod. It stays nice when you put it on the table. It doesn't want to go too, too far. And yeah, really, really simple device uh, that fits in a great package like i've never seen a projector this small before that's all i'm trying to say so the nebula the nebula capsule projector is available today for 249.99 um i saw uh i'm not personally like a, a star wars mark but uh, i saw the nebula capsule r2d2 edition and it was just it looked like r2d2 and uh, you could maybe get it like on like a on a popular auction site, but you're gonna pay like a thousand bucks. You're gonna probably pay like eight hundred, maybe a thousand bucks for the R two D two skin on the capsule. Uh, but you can get a straight up traditional all black ca uh, Nebula capsule for two fifty today. Yeah, really cool. Really cool. This is just like you pull it out, charge it up. It's good to go. And you don't have to charge it to use it. You can plug it in and turn it on and just bypass the battery. I want to use these outside a little bit more, but it is wintertime. So I'm waiting. I'm pretty excited, though, to point some of these. I got another projector. We're going to talk about it right now. And it's the uh, Mars Pro 2. Mars 2 Pro. This is the Mars 2 Pro 720p DLP projector. Now, I, I want you to know before we start talking about this that the Anchor Nebula capsule projector we were just looking at also is a DLP projector, okay? Now, let's drink a little bit of water. What's up, Samantha Guevara? Let's drink a little bit of water, and then we're going to talk about the Mars 2 Pro 720p outdoor projector. This is also an Anchor Nebula projector. <clears throat> okay, this Anchor Nebula 720p projector, it goes by the name. I just said it, Mars 2 Pro. This is the Mars 2 Pro. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit bigger than the beer can. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than the beer can, but it also features uh, big speakers. It features 720p DLP output and has HDMI and USB inputs on it, as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack out you know what i'm saying so that you can run audio out to it you can pair this with bluetooth you can run it in conjunction with the anchor app the nebula app that i was describing that's compatible with the capsule as well it also has nice rubber booty to hold it into place and a tripod mount uh this thing is bright i plugged it in in the bedroom and it filled the whole room with light i felt like i was at a movie theater it was crazy how bright this truly was the nebula also has a soft grip handle that feels kind of like plasticky, kind of like a faux leather. I don't think that this is uh, a genuine leather. I'm not sure. Um, but with the battery that's built inside, this 720p, per, excuse me, with the battery that's built inside, this 720p projector, it features a three-hour battery life. It has all the controls that you need to operate it on the top of it, as well as the four lights indicating the battery uh, uh uh, state the state of the battery how much how much charge is left in it to turn this on i still have my plastic on mine i put it back on after i took it off once but to turn the projector on you just open the lens that's what turns it on 
And uh, yeah, so um, three hour playback. It's got the tripod. You can watch it outside, which I think is pretty great. And again, it's another complete, complete um, product in a box. It's got the speakers. Uh, we use the speakers on this to watch the movie. It sounded just fine and uh, has the audio out so that you can connect it to a different audio source, like maybe a Tribit uh, Stormbox Blast. Okay, uh, this one also comes with the remote and uh, the remotes look identical, but they do have different icons on the buttons that serve different functions. And uh, I haven't really messed with the remotes or, or the app because it just works with everything on it. Well, I use the app for the cap. I use the remote for the capsule, but a lot less for the Mars 2 Pro. Okay, okay. Thank you for the raid. Sorry your messages had to be hidden. And uh, yeah, that's it. This is the Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro and is available today for $549.99. It has a four and a half star review with just over a thousand reviews. And then what is it after the scale and then the desk? Okay, let's talk about the Wise Fitness scale. <clears throat> okay, this is the Wise Bluetooth Fitness scale. Uh, I stood on mine today, so it's got some watermarks on it. You know how it is. It has a really nice glass top that, uh, that has like these contacts under it. Uh, that have these contacts under it that are good for uh, like detecting heartbeat and stuff. You can download the wise app and pair the scale with the app and then get like weight trends uh, through that app and a few other features. I don't really mess with the app too much uh, because my weight isn't changing very often. So like, I just kind of have the ability to retain it in my mind, but every time you step on the app, it does set out trends and it, and it offers you the ability to monitor other biometrics as well, such as uh, heart rate and a few others. Uh, you can stand on this. You don't need an app to use it or any of the Bluetooth stuff. You can just stand on this and then it'll tell you how much you weigh. It's a pretty great scale. It's really thin. It's super, super thin. It's got this ITO coated glass, I think they call it. And yeah, pretty standard, straightforward scale that you can pair with the app. Today it's available for $40 and has a four and a half star review with um, over 23 and a half thousand reviews. So like you, when you get four and a half stars, not everything can be super perfect. I, I, I agree uh, is, is my opinion. I mean to say, and uh, yeah, when you got 23 and a half thousand reviews and four and a half stars, pretty good product, pretty good product. The wise the Wise Fitness Smart Scale is available today for $40. Okay, let's talk about the Rad Love desk now. Um, how do we do the desk today? I guess we'll just plug in the camera. It's not a big deal. Like, we're almost done the show and it's only an hour in. So maybe we'll go for it. Let's get this a little untangled here for me. I guess it slipped my mind to plug the camera in before we started today's show. I got cables galore. It's actually one cable. It's one. It's one cable. Let's take a quick look at the desk. I got to plug it in right here. There we go. Okay, let's uh, let's switch over to this camera. Let's switch over to this camera. The PowerConf C200. Ah, yes. Hello, everybody. Okay, let's get a little focus here. Focus, man. Focus. Focus. All right, that's a little bit better. Okay, let's take a look here now at the Rad Love Electric Adjustable Height Desk. That is the desk here that I do the show on. Uh, it's a really nice desk. It has this, uh, it has these legs that are electric 
so that you can adjust the height. And uh, there's a little motor under here. Let me see if I can show you that motor real quick. So it has this electric motor and it and it turns the legs up and down. It cranks the legs up and down. It also does the other side. There's like a connecting rod here. That's what this silver bar is. And the silver bar turns like a gear thing in here that, that adjusts the desk as well. So it's pretty, pretty cool. It has this four piece. It has this four piece setup that is two of the blackboards as well as two of the brown boards. And the rear board has the cutouts for wiring and everything. Uh, I pulled mine out. I just got the plastic out currently so that I could kind of rest my docking station over the hole because it's a little bit of a tight fit here. But that's going to change soon because uh, I finally got, like I said, my, my monitor plate, uh, my monitor arm plate. So I think I'm going to start setting up the monitors. And I'm going to talk more about that right now. But, uh, oh, hold on. Before we do that, I also want you to know about the desk that it does feature the ability to go up and down, okay? So you can press it and go up and down, which is really cool. We can go 40. And uh, you can go all the way down to the lowest setting, which is 27 inches. Um, and then double click or press and hold down, and this will switch to centimeters. You can navigate the table to a height that you want it to be at and then press and hold the number to set it as a preset. So you have four different presets on the box. It offers some simple cable management. It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. I've never had an electrical height adjusting desk before and I'm having a swell time with it. Now let's switch back real quick to our, to our OBS bot, okay? Our main camera here. And we're gonna do that now. Yes. Okay. So yeah, so that's the Rad Love desk. It's pretty great. Uh, hey, what's up, Vicky E? Uh, I love the desk so much. And I got my monitor stand stuff. And uh, we got like, it's only six o'clock. And I'm like, what? One, two, three. Dude, I did my whole show in an hour today. It was so quiet. I did my entire show in an hour. I'm going to have to do another show. I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to keep talking about products today. Um, but before we do that, maybe I'll just start building my monitor stand on the show today with the last back half of the show. Um, like I was saying, Vicky, I don't think that you were here earlier cause you're so excited to say hello now, three minutes ago, excuse me for not seeing you three minutes ago. Uh, I guess I was showing the desk. Um, yeah. I think I might want to build the monitor arm. I got this triple monitor arm set up and I think I'm only going to use one arm, one arm in the center pole. And I'm not even going to put anything on the center pole because I want my arm out on uh, out set to the side and my, my portable monitor doesn't have a VESA for it. So I think I'm going to set one monitor up on the left side of the desk, raise it up a little bit and then set the portable monitor underneath it and have two monitors stacked next to the laptop. And uh, we'll run like that for a little while until we get some new bigger monitors into the battle station. <clears throat> so maybe I'll start doing that on the show because it's already six o'clock and I've got three products left. One, two, three, and two products. I've got two products left. I've got two products left and a product page. So Let's just blast through these really quick because I've never done a show in an hour before. What is the next one? The Aurora. Uh, this is the Aurora light. It's pretty cool. It's ultra popular on Amazon right now with over 12,000 reviews. It has four and a half stars, which is great. What this does is it projects a light onto your ceiling that looks like the Northern Lights, like Aurora Borealis. And uh, this is the device. It's pretty simple in design. Uh, it has the lights that flash. It has the the lens that uh, distorts the light. You can kind of sort of see it's a little wavy. Maybe you have the ability to see that. And it also features a green laser that shines on the ceiling as well to act like a star pattern. And yeah, this is available for $40 today. It's 33% off. These are regularly 60 bucks. It's available today for 40. It charges with USB-C. There's a USB-C in to charge. This has a speaker in it that you can connect to it via Bluetooth. You can control the majority of the functions 
of the device with the included remote control. Uh, you can, excuse me, all of the functions with the included remote control. And then there are just a few buttons on the side to have some, um, some features that you can control. But that was that came out like a hodgepodge of words that didn't make sense. But on the side of the Rosetta Starlight, uh, there are controls for partial control of the light. For full control, you get the remote. And that is like you get timers on this. You can control the RGB and the W that cycle through the Aurora, which is really cool. There's three different speeds that you can have with the Aurora. Um, and you can have it set for sound settings and I don't know, there's a few other things in here, uh, but not too many. It's a pretty small remote control. It uses infrared and it communicates with the light that is just above that yellow sticker here. So you just kind of got to be like in line to use the, to use the remote control. The Rosetta Starlight is available today for $40, like I said, and has a four and a half star review with over 12,000 reviews. People, people that buy these like these. Yo, that's that's it. That's forty dollars. Yo, we got two things left to talk about. We're gonna talk. We are going to talk about the EF EcoFlow portable battery right now, and then the show's over. I literally never did a show in an hour before. I've never done a show in an hour. Absolutely, positively insane. Absolutely insane. Okay, but this is the EF EcoFlow River 2 portable battery. This is a 256 watt hour portable battery that you can use in emergency situations or in regular leisure situations like camping. I've been using mine to just do some tests around the house once again while it's cold outside. Uh, but these are good if you have a power outage. You can plug a light into this and run lights for like 12, 24 hours, depending on how 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 many watts your light draws it has a power um it has a screen on the front <clears throat> part of me that has the ability to tell you what you're looking at uh in regards to statistics that man i thought i could keep that sentence going i, I stepped on my words again but it does have a nice display and on the display you get relevant information such as how many hours of battery life are left at the current draw Currently, we have 99 hours because we're not drawing any power. Also, it features the amount of charge left in the battery. Today, we my battery is at 67%. And the two numbers that are triple zero on the other side of the battery monitor, those are your wattage monitors. The top monitor, uh, the top number monitors how many how much power is going into the device. And the bottom monitor is how many watts are going out. You can charge this by plugging it into the wall. From a dead battery to a full charge in one hour you can charge this with the included cable in your car's auxiliary power port your cigarette lighter adapter in a few hours up to four hours you can get a 110 volt solar panel that is hey what's up uh, stay at home mom i hope that you're doing very well thanks for coming over today and hanging out for just a few minutes we're just chilling yo it's been very very quiet today so i've just been blasting through the carousel and we're on the last product and I still have an hour of show 50 minutes of show to do today so I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do in a few minutes here but what's up much clown love to you stay at home mom thanks for joining I was just talking about the display on the river two and how the top number represents how much power is going in and how much power is going out and how you can also charge it with solar panels that you can obtain by clicking through the carousel today, navigating to the EcoFlow store and putting the River 2 and the 110 volt panels in your cart. Really smart idea. This is an ultra light device. I'm holding it with one finger. Uh, it's really, really light. Now it is a battery. It does have a little bit of weight to it, but still very light indeed. This has the ability to cycle through a charge over 3000 times. That means you can use it once a day, every day for 10 years and not have an issue with this. I plugged my laptop into it. My laptop was drawing between 
50 and 80 watts and the and the battery lasted for like three and a half maybe four hours before my laptop kicked over to its battery uh, supply so that was really really cool that i got to test it like that uh this is for me really going to be great for camping and uh yeah some like rarely but still often enough to comment on it we do have small power outages here but generally speaking those power outages are through the day uh so we're not really like we don't need light, so we don't require a lot of power. You know what I'm trying to say? But uh, these are great for emergency situations, uh, like I said, as well as leisure. This 256-watt-hour portable battery features a grounded plug, a non-grounded plug, also two USB-A ports, a USB-C port for charging, as well as a, an auxiliary port for charging out. All these are for charging out. You toggle them on by pressing the button. So they're not live. You have to press the button to turn the power on for them. And uh, you know when they're on because the light's on. Now, if you're not, if you charge the battery and you're not using it, be certain to turn it off to maintain that charge, retain that charge. Uh, if you leave it in standby mode, your battery will die like in, in less than a day. Okay, the EF EcoFlow River 2 is available today for $289 and has a four and a half star review with just over 1,500 reviews. And that's it. We did the whole show in an hour today. I've never, never, ever done that. I got to go back. Is there something that we didn't talk? We talked about everything. Let's drink some more water real quick. Oh, yeah. No cups on the desk. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so let's open up our last product here. It's going to be the EF EcoFlow River 2 Max. Now, this is a battery that I'm also interested in. It's a little bit bigger than um, other batteries. Uh, it's, it's bigger than the River 2, but it's not the exact same thing. It's going to have a few more inputs. We're going to take a look at this together right now. And uh, yeah, let me grab the link for this, copy it, and we'll paste it here into our Amazon chat. And if you have the ability to go and like this video, it would certainly help us. I'm currently like number four. Uh, let's set it up so that we can share this video with everybody now. And uh, that's really easy. We just have to do this. Yes, share this. Kind of sharing in a new way that I generally don't pop it up like this you can see i'm like number four and uh yeah let's hit play let's hit play on this video this is the ecoflow river max this is the second version of that so the river max 2 this thing is an absolute beast and has a ton of crazy features that i think you guys are going to really enjoy so with a total of 512 watt hours on that life po4 battery and a one hour fast charge and up to 1000 watts of output this thing is going to keep you guys covered through an entire camping trip through a weekend getaway through storms through blackouts really anything that you can think of where you're going to need power and otherwise wouldn't have access to standard outlet power this is going to be the one for you so what we're going to do is dive in and take a look at all of the options that you have included with the river two so if i go ahead and lift this up on the front right here you guys are going to notice that you have three usb a ports which is just so cool so you can charge all of your devices directly from this then you're going to have a usb c output that is going to output at up to 100 watts so all of your devices are covered if we flip over here to the side if I pull this little lever down, just like all of other EcoFlow products, you're going to have that standard 12 volt outlet so you guys can actually charge devices that would normally run from your car's power directly from this. And then down at the bottom, you're going to have two individually grounded AC outlets, and then you're going to have these two standard two prong outlets. All of this is controllable through these buttons that you guys can see located around the outside of it. So say you have some stuff plugged in right here and you have some stuff plugged in right here what you can actually do is individually control the power to each of those through this little button or you can even do it through the app now if i switch it over to this side you're going to have a fan which is actually going to outtake some of the heat because this thing is going to run pretty warm and then on the back side you are going to have 
this extreme technology charging plug-in right here so when you plug this into your wall you can actually fast charge this in about one hour from zero to 80 percent which is just incredible to me now the back side right here this is going to be a way for you to actually charge from your car while you're driving down the road or from your rv and then you can also charge with EcoFlow solar panels that will plug into that same port. Overall, like I said, the River 2 Max, I think, is just a beast. If we go ahead and turn this bad boy on, you guys are going to notice that it has a little display here that kind of shows you everything you can expect. It will show your total input wattages if you're charging it. It will show you how many outputs you are outputting at if you have stuff plugged in. And then your total battery life is right here and your expected remaining hours of charging based on how many watts you're outputting will be reflected right here. This is just an incredible machine. Definitely check this out. I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. See you guys later. Oh, thank you so much, Nate, for talking to us about the EF EcoFlow portable power station. That was the River 2 Max. And uh, let's uh, exit full screen here. That was the River 2 Max. Let's see if we got anybody watching that had the ability to like it. We went from four likes to four likes. Thank you so much to the five people watching here at Clown Live today. That's it. We did the whole carousel. We slammed today's carousel so fast, which is uh, crazy. So... Um, we're going to talk about some more products then. We're going to keep the show going here. We're just going to talk about some other stuff. Uh, but before we do, I guess I have to add it to my carousel so that we can talk about it well. Um, but the, the River 2 Max is available today for $469 and also features a four and a half star rating with just over 1,500 reviews. Okay, so these portable batteries are really, really great and important. If you have the ability to put one in your budget, they're great for emergency situations. Even if you just need it to like charge your phone or plug in an emergency light, some EcoFlow portable batteries have the light built into it. You know what I'm saying? So they have the lights already there for you. All right, let's, uh, let's step it up a notch and let's update our carousel here in real time. That's going to take uh, a minute or two, but I got uh, another 40 minutes to talk on today's show. So if there's any of the six of you that are out there watching, you know what I'm saying? Please feel free to say literally anything in the chat and we can maybe get a conversation going. We're done products. Is there something that you're looking at that I should know about? Uh, I'm going to add some products that I want to talk to you guys about uh, right now. So let me try to set that up here in real time, real time. Okay, yeah, we didn't miss anything. We talked about everything today. Uh, okay, so let's go to my product page and let's get some product ASINs. Let's get some product ASINs. Okay, let's add this to our to our carousel right now. Okay, it's gonna be B zero nine five B R six nine Y J R six nine y j search yes add to stream okay uh okay cool let's add the let's add the huanuo as well and that's gonna be this okay let's do b zero oh e evan s evan s the lights in your room are so cool thank you i got these a long time ago uh i don't know if they sell these exact type of lights on amazon currently but they may they may um we were looking at huano b08 d h81 ts h81 ts3 okay search that uh yes okay definitely and then let's add one more product to our carousel here um actually i don't need to add one more because i don't think i'm going to need to use that to build the desk i think it has a built-in allen key so i don't need the screwdriver okay let's return to our live stream then and let's float all the way down to the end of our carousel here and uh yeah let's highlight this and talk about it right now And this is gonna be the uh, this is gonna be the steel monitor mount. It is by I got the name here, uh, Zanoli, Zanoli, Z Zanoli. <laughs> it's not Oli. I think it's Oli. Zanoli steel monitor mount reinforcement plate. I've got that on the table, and I want to talk to you about it. 
I have been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. This is a simple piece of steel. But what it's going to do is it's going to sandwich onto the table and help distribute weight. Excuse me. It's going to help distribute weight from uh, from the monitor stand when it's clamped to it. It's going to be crazy. I hope that I hope that it looks good when I get the triple monitor stand on here. Okay, let's open this. Let's open this. We got it highlighted right now. It's available today for seventeen dollars and eighty six cents. It's Amazon's choice, I think, for steel reinforcement plate. Comes in a bag. And then the bag is uh, bagged. It's just taped shut. Cool. So it comes in two bags, and then you get some instruction manual stuff. Okay, single sheet. Single sheet instruction. It's going to be very simple, I'm sure, once I take a closer look at it. But look, this has the underplate as well as a soft grip. I didn't even realize it come with like a nice soft grip. Uh, also, it has the same for the top plate. So you have the top plate and then you have the top plate grip. I'm going to look at the instructions here, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty straightforward. Uh, one goes under, one goes on top. They sandwich together. Oops, let's get it off the tape. They sandwich together. And then you can put your monitor stand on there and it's not going to damage it. You finally got your reinforcement plate. Yeah, it came today. It came today. So I added it to the carousel because uh, we're it's almost 630 and I already did my entire 20 products. It was a very, very uh, mild show. It was a quiet show today in the chat. So without much interaction, it was really easy to slam through everything that we had. So now I'm super excited to be spending some time talking about this plate. Because I don't know, like with a half an hour left, I don't think 30 minutes is the right time to start building this on stream. So I might do it off stream later, but I'm going to pull out the monitor stand and maybe start pulling some parts out of the box now so that we can look at them. Because today it's coming out of the box, you know. Okay, so let me take a quick look at this. The Xanali steel monitor mount reinforcement plate instruction manual is a single piece of paper. And uh, it says that it comes with your plates and your anti-slip pads. Attach your pads to the plates. So the backs of the pads are going to be adhesive, I guess. That's what the brown paper is. And then put the plate on the desk. One thing that I wonder is what the screw holes are for. Place plate A or B on the desktop. Place the other plate to the clamp. Secure the clamp to the desktop. Yeah, very straightforward. Plate A, plate B, plate A can be used under the desktop. Yeah, okay, I get it. Okay, cool. So they're just basically saying, if we watch here, they're just saying ad put the adhesive on your plate, put your plate down, put your under plate under, and then that's it. And then use your grip it grip it right very cool so what are the screws for or what are the holes for there's a hole on the flat side here there's no screws included with the kit um there's no screws included with the kit but the kit does clearly show the hole on the round part and then yeah, that's it. It's very extremely straightforward, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to set it up today. Maybe, oh, man. I don't know if I should start setting it up on the show or not. I'm really conflicted. But it is like kind of like a... No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to set it up. I'm going to set it up off camera. But uh, this seems pretty straightforward. Seems pretty straightforward. That grip, this grip feels pretty grippy when I went to slide it. Obviously, it's not adhered to it yet. So this is cool. This is cool. This is what I've been waiting for. I literally thought, though, it was just steel. I didn't know that it came with the grip and, and that it has, like, these screw holes on it. But I don't see if I was... I don't see if I was putting this on the edge of the desk. Am I going to drive a screw into my, into the side of the quarter inch? I don't think that that would, 
And like, why wouldn't it be two then? You know what I'm saying? You would install the stand on the top of this, right? Yeah, absolutely. Let's switch over now to the Huanuo triple monitor stand and let's pull the clamp out and we can at least, I'll test, I'll test fit the clamp uh, here on the corner of the desk where it won't be fitted. And, uh, and yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Okay. We can do that. Let's, uh, and we'll keep the camera set up as well so that we can see a good shot of it. Um, okay. Well, let's, let's put the adhesive then on the steel and then we'll get the, it's crazy that they don't have holes on the top instead of the side. Well, yeah, but that, yeah, but I don't know. Like, obviously it's got to be for security, right? So you have one on the side like that. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, I think I could understand that you wouldn't want to drill a hole in the top of your desk, I think. And then for this one, there's no bent lip on it for under the desk. It's just a flat plate. So, you know, does this screw just go up into the desk? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to opt not to use screws at this time, and hopefully it won't be a poor decision. Okay, so let's do the thing then where we peel this off. Okay, and then we'll put this on. Now, this does have like this trim, so I think the trim does come off. And uh, let's lay this down, put this back over here so y'all can see. Okay, pretty straightforward. It's cut not to overlap, which is cool. I guess I wouldn't say that I centered it per se, but it still is going to be just fine. I was looking at this edge, not at this edge, but still good. This is still good. And then uh, let's put the adhesive on the other piece. And then as soon as we get this adhesive on, we'll switch to the monitor stand and we'll pull the clamp base out and we'll clamp it here on the desk so we can have a better look at it. Okay, but let's peel this adhesive as well. Very easy to peel these papers off. They're not like stuck on there too much. Um, this is coated in the same finish on both sides. I think I did it well. Well, there's no overhang, so I guess I did it well enough. Okay, so we got adhesive on that one now. That's it. That is it. That is it. Okay. That's it. Okay. So let's clean up this little bit of mess here. And then uh, we can put this on the table for now. And now let's switch products. Um, okay. This monitor stand that we're about to install here uh, temporarily on the side of the desk is available today for $17 and 86 cents. Uh, I think it might even have like a five dollar coupon if i'm not mistaken let me take a quick look uh since i didn't expect to add these okay steel monitor uh stand seventeen dollars and 86 cents with a five percent coupon today very decent deal let me see if there's any deals on the monitor stand Ooh, it's on for a hundred dollars today wow i think i paid full price for mine i think i paid like I think I paid like 130 for mine and now it's on for a hundred dollars today. Okay. Let's pull the box out and take a look at it. I'm pretty excited about this. Okay. This is the Huanuo triple monitor stand and uh, it, is today a hundred dollars it's 29 percent off it's uh making it regularly 140 now it's 99.99 and this is for the silver version uh they offer it in black and also in white and they're at different price points today okay i've got the silver version here we're gonna open the box <clears throat> and just show the clamp it comes with the instructions Here's the VESA for the center monitor. It's right in the top. Okay. I can't even see myself. 
This is the VESA for the center monitor. Things are going to be so crazy. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this, dude. It's going to be so crazy once we get everything set up. I'm, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I have a triple monitor set up for up to 332 monitors. This entire Huanuo triple monitor setup weighs in at 17 and a half pounds and will support up to three monitors ranging from sizes 17 inch to 32 inches and each arm supports up to 17 and a half pounds okay so you get like monitors aren't that heavy nowadays hey what's up g zone what's up margaret great to see you guys here i smashed through my entire carousel in like an hour and 10 minutes today and now we're just talking about the Huanuo monitor stand because I'm loving it. And uh, look at this. My steel pad came in. My steel reinforcement plate came in. So I'm just doing the business about the monitor stand. And then we're going to temporarily install the clamp on the side of the desk where it doesn't belong because it's in frame of the camera. And then when we're done the show today, uh, I'm going to be... I'm going to be setting it up. It's going to be pretty exciting for me. I'm, I'm really excited about this. Okay, so this is, though, the center monitor stand. Now, the VESA support for the stands ranges from 75 millimeter to 100 millimeter mounts, okay? I've got one. I've got one monitor that supports that mount right now, and I've got several monitors that do not. So I think when I set up my triple monitor stand today, I may just be setting it up as like a single arm stand with the center pole. Uh, I don't know how much of the center pole I require, but if I can only put in like a portion of the center pole and even eliminate this center VESA, I want to do it to keep my view open in front of the camera for now. Uh, and like I said, I only have one monitor that fits on a best amount. So uh, I got this in anticipation of knowing that I will get a bigger battle station as time progresses. But for now, we're just using, I'm only going to use a little bit of it. Okay, so, so, so let's do the thing now. Let's put this on the ground. And uh, let's pull out the clamp. Okay, this clamp is going to be so easy to mount, right? This is the clamp that comes with the Huanuo. When are you going to set up? Uh, I thought about doing it on the show, but I think I, I'm going to do it offline. So pretty much I'm just going to set up the clamp. I'm going to set up the plate on this on right here and put the clamp on like this and then turn the camera onto it and show some around footage of it. And, uh, and then that's it. That's it. That's all I'm going to set up for the VESA mount on the wrong area of the desk today, just for the demo. And then when the show's over, I'm pretty much going to set it up. I think like at around seven o'clock when, when today's show's over, it's time. It is time. I'm so excited. I'm really, truly am excited. Okay. So it seems pretty straightforward. It seems like we've got our mount. This is the top of the mount. This is what sits on the desk. And this is like why we want to have this reinforcement plate so that we're not crushing the desk, the particle board desk with this clamp, with this clamp designed to hold the monitors into place. This is pretty heavy. Feels like it's got some weight to it, like a, like a high quality thing, like a high quality uh, steel design. Okay. It's pretty straightforward too, I, I think obviously. So we're just going to open our clamp. We're going to open this clamp uh, as much as we need to. I think that's probably more than enough. Oh yes. Okay. So then we put our, we're going to put our big plate down on the top and then we're going to put our under our little plate underneath and wedge it together you know what i think that is the part that that's the demo i think that's the demo so let's switch our cameras over to the other camera real quick anchor power conf yes please yes please hey everybody okay so this is what we're going to do we're going to take this steel plate we're going to rest it on top of the desk and then we're going to take this smaller plate and hold it in place with our hands while we clamp the desk together. Let's move this camera a lot closer to the action and see what we can do. Let's see. I think maybe this way is the right way. Let's pop this down. And uh, yeah, we can make this even lower. Yeah, we can make this even lower. We'll just pop these legs in a little bit and 
real time <laughs> real time okay let's pop these legs in let's pop these legs in sorry for the shaky camera and uh okay that's good and then we can go up like this and uh, i think that's gonna pretty much be the shot i think that's gonna be the shot right let's see what this looks like yeah i don't think i'm gonna be like blocking it with my hands too much okay so this is gonna be the shot so we we put our reinforcement plate on top. Let me check my Amazon Live. <clears throat> um, when are you going to set it up? I'm surprised the C-clamp is not that deep. The C-clamp is not that deep. Uh, here we are. Here's our camera here. Yeah, the C-clamp is not that deep, but it does offer a pretty uh, a pretty wide pretty wide uh, clamp on it though. You know what I'm saying? To give that pinch. And exactly, like I didn't take the consideration of how long this – part of the clamp is at all but i did recognize that when this is look these are four pieces of wood the, the black piece and the two brown pieces and these four pieces these excuse me the black is held to the brown with this steel bracket and four little screws you know what i'm saying so like from from this bracket to this bracket down here that's how long the brown wood is and when i'm gonna have this mounted in the center of the desk on the rear of the desk, I'm, I, I know that it's going to bow eventually, but I really wanted to protect um, not not like biting into the desk with this clamp uh, or anything like that. That's why I waited so long for the thing for the uh, for the um, the uh, for the steel reinforcement plate and didn't and didn't jump the gun on it. OK, so look, so we can set this on pretty easy. Feels like it's weighted on very, very good. It's just going to sit on, on the plate. It looks like it's designed basically perfectly for it. Now, sure, the black mat doesn't match this black mat, but who? I'm not concerned about that personally, okay? So, okay, so now let's go back under the desk here, and let's see what we're looking at. Okay, so here's the clamp, and here's – here. Uh, okay, here's the top of the clamp. And then here's the bottom where we screw it into place. Pull this out a little bit, I guess. Let's go up. Let's go up. I'm trying to get like a really good angle. It's going to be like so close to. Let's push this flat. Let's push this up. Oh, there we go. Oh, there. There's the shot. There's the shot. Just like that okay so yeah so we put our we put our plate on top we put our plate on top gravity's holding it in place we put our clamp on top of that gravity is essentially holding that into place right now because it's certainly not it's certainly not clamped into place here so now we take our bottom clamp g zone says the idea was great the table won't be harmed in any way yeah that's what yeah I, and i just think that if i'm crunching the particle board desk, eventually something is going to happen. And I think this is going to help prevent that. Let me get down on my little knees and uh, we're going to slide this plate right into place. And uh, yeah, I mean, like that's it. I'll, I'll butt it all the way back and then we'll just tighten this up. Okay. So it instantly got a little tight. Now we can loosen it just a bit and slide it into place. Push our plate back back and flat this feels good let's give it a tighten 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 now it's very tight but i'm going to give it another little tighten because i don't think i'm stripping anything in here this seems pretty strong threaded so there we go oh yeah okay now it's really tight now it's super tight okay i think that might be good it's certainly not moving by the power of my hand here and uh yeah that's the mount we got the mount set up here it is it's, it, it ain't moving with the grippy pad that we adhered under the steel plate. Hey, what's up, Evans? We, we just are doing a quick demo of how the monitor mount is going to fit on the desk. And uh, the reinforcement plate finally came. So we have the reinforcement plate here on the top. And then our clamp sits on that. And then we were just showing under the desk here how there is uh, let's go down again. I was just showing how it has the, oh, look at my clamp. Maybe I should straighten my clamp out. 
Maybe I should, sorry for the kind of light prop. There we go. Maybe I should loosen and readjust this flat, like more, more, not flat, but like in line with the, with the steel and then give it a retighten. Boom. That's great. Maybe a little, a little more. Okay. So yeah, so this is it. And so this steel now is, uh, this steel now has a little adhesive pad. This steel has a little adhesive pad. This steel is clamping this steel to the desk with the monitor mount. Isn't that great? And now it's threaded on the inside. So, okay, maybe what time is it? What time is it? Dude, if I start setting it up here, that's the wrong spot. I can't set it up because I saw that it takes like a half an hour to an hour. And uh, that's not the right move. Okay, let's switch back to our OBS bot real quick. <clears throat> Yo, look at the Huanuo triple monitor mount C-clamp bracket uh, with the reinforcement plate on the Rad Love desk. I've been fantasizing about this. I've been fantasizing about this for quite some time, okay? And now it's the real deal. It's the real deal. Yesterday we were looking at um, we were looking at monitors that were 32 inch 4K monitors for $180. Excuse me, $180. Excuse me again. And they had these 75 hertz refresh rate. And all of the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, all of the, um, all of the monitors that in 32 inch size format that I've been looking at, not ultra wide, just regular 32 inch monitors, they've all been like $180 for a 1080p monitor. I'm not sure what the refresh rate is, but uh, yeah, I saw these 4K 75 hertz monitors for 180 bucks and i really want three big 32 inch monitors in front of me i want it to feel like too big you know what i'm saying like a racing sim a uh, i've been looking at pictures i've been looking at videos of like triple monitor setups and triple monitor arm setups and all of them uh oh wait yesterday you were live yeah we went live yesterday mima was here you didn't i don't i you didn't get to see the show yesterday uh cisco uh yeah we did a little pop-up show unannounced and mima joined the show my wife and we sat at the table instead of standing here like i do and uh yeah we did a show together it was really fun so she did a great job sometimes she can be a little nervous she did such a great job talking about the products and and uh, yeah, I wish that we could do Amazon Live together more often, but she works like a more traditional job where you have to leave the house and be there for eight hours a day. Um, yeah. So yeah, the Huanuo triple monitor arm supports, uh, uh, excuse me, the Huanuo triple monitor arm support, triple monitor, uh, what does it say? Gas spring aluminum monitor desk mount. Okay, I'm not going to say that. The Huanuo triple monitor stand supports monitors up to 17 and a half pounds, ranging from sizes 17 to 32 inches. So that's what I was saying. Just being very kind of like repetitive. I'm looking at some 1080p monitors and like I don't like 600 bucks to get the monitors. I know I've said in the past that I could put $600 very well good into something like like um, more important but as i continue on amazon live i see that i have this like uh this um desire that i want to fulfill that is like allowing me to build a big workstation and so i got the laptop i got the desk and now all i need is the monitors and i'm not a big gamer and that's kind of like i'm kind of flip-flopping all over here i'm, I'm, I'm on two different tangents but I want three big monitors because it's ultra baller and I want that. That's what I want. And I can be whatever I want. Right. Uh, but yeah, so I'm watching like triple monitor stand setups and 32 inch triple monitor setups. I'm looking at on like popular video searching websites and, and I'm getting results that are like all, all sim, all sim racing. Everybody that has a triple monitor setup is doing like sim racing. 
Um, so I don't know like how fast the PC needs to be, but I got the Asus gaming laptop. Uh, you know, that's the Asus Tough A115, uh, excuse me, the Asus Tough A15 gaming laptop. And it's got a, it's got a, NVIDIA 3050 in it and a Ryzen 7 4800 series GP, uh, CPU. So I think it's fast enough to probably run some kind of sim racing game. But even then, I'm not even like a big race car driver. I don't even have a racing wheel. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I think it might be interesting to set it up. Uh, and I definitely recognize that I want to own three of the same monitor. And so I've never like... I've, I've never like had a huge set. I've, I haven't stepped into the new age, but now I have with this monitor, uh, with this laptop, with the new Asus laptop. And I think it's going to be like the main laptop, the main driving computer for a while. And that the 3050 supports up to three monitors out, but is that three 1080p monitors? So what do I do? Do I get, do I get like some 1080p monitors that have great refresh rates and, and, and then, uh, and then I know that I can power all three of them with my, with my, uh, with my GPU or do I get like 4k monitors, even though I know I can pretty much only run them at 1080p. <coughs> Let me drink a little water again. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I I I, uh, I haven't been educated in monitors, but I recognize that like a refresh rate at 1080p of 144 hertz that looks great. But again, I'm not a big gamer. The only game I really play is Minecraft. I just want three big monitors because I like to live in excess. But like, look on today's show, I've got what we're previewing here. I've got my whole live show, all my controls here. And on my laptop screen, I've got the entire show that is streaming on Amazon Live. You know what I'm saying? So I can monitor what I'm looking at in real time online, like what we're streaming. And then I've got my other monitor open. It's currently got product pages open. It's good for me to pop a page open to talk to somebody on social media if I need to get a hold of Justin on Discord or something. I don't need to take my eyes off the prize. I don't need to take my eyes off the prize. And furthermore, okay, just because uh, this is what we're talking about, you're still going to get a great, you're still going to get great monitoring. Yeah, either way. Either way, I'm going to get great monitoring. So what do you think you value, G-Zone? Do you think that you would value, if, if I'm not a gamer, I don't care about, I guess I don't care about a high refresh rate. I think I'm kind of answering my own question right now. And I'm saying I don't like gaming a lot too. Yeah. So like, wouldn't you rather have the pixel density of 4K monitors with a lower refresh rate than to have the 1080p monitors with the higher refresh rate, and then you have the 4K monitors. And if you need to run them in 1080p, big deal, right? But you have the 4K for in the future when it could be more relevant or, you know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? I think I got to get the 4K monitor, and I don't think that I'm so worried about the refresh rate. I think that's kind of where I'm at with it right now. So... 4K is great. Yeah, I got the 4K TV. It looks really good. You know, the 4K TV looks good, but I've never had a 4K monitor. So that's kind of like, uh, I think it's one of those things like, oh, uh, well, I'm not missing what I don't have. I have 1080p monitors. I can see everything fine on them. What do I need? What do I need uh, 4K for, right? For the computer. Uh, watch the TV. But yeah, having the 4K is like a a step into not the future cuz 4K is standard, not you know what I'm trying to say like it's such a uh high what am I trying to say? It's not a standard. It's not the standard resolution. Everything pretty much like we're doing Amazon in 720p, you know what I'm saying? Uh and like who streams in 4K? Nobody streams in 4K. So just consuming content in 4K on the computer, I don't think I need that, which is like another argument for 1080p monitors.
You know what I mean? But I think more pixel, uh, I think more pixels is probably better and less refresh rate. Yeah, I think so too. More pixels, less refresh rate, 4K, 4K, 75 hertz. And that's just, you know what? The whole time that I'm saying this right now, I'm only talking about uh, this on my TV. This is yesterday's show. I'm just talking about these 4K, this monitor that is right here on this show right here right now. Uh, that's it. I'm sure there's going to be other deals that are going to pop up. I'm sure like I, I'm not missing what I don't have. So while I very much want the thing, I don't mind waiting for like a, a really good deal. And who knows when is uh, when Prime Day happens. Maybe I'm waiting until Prime. Maybe I'm waiting until Prime Day to get new monitors. Who knows? But uh, it's hard for me to say. It's hard for me to say. But I do want them. I would like to get three identical, thinly be as thin of a bezel as I can get, right? Because I'd like it to be – I don't want ultra-wide. I know that I don't want the ultra-wide monitor. That for sure. I don't want the ultra wide. Uh, I do want three 32 inch monitors. I want more height in the top of my monitor than I do on the sides for sure. But when I have ultra thin bezel on the monitor, then, you know, you get into that spot where it's like, they're very, very close. It's very, very, very close, thin bezels. It's almost, almost seamless. You know what I'm trying to describe? So that's, that's, I want some 4k monitors that have very, very thin bezels. And I, I don't know which ones those are. I don't know which ones those are or when they're going to go on sale. But uh, I've seen like 4K monitors that are like 400 bucks. And it's like, no, dude, no way. You know, I'm going to put I'm going to put a cap on my spending based on the 1080p monitors and the 4K monitors that I've seen recently. I'm putting like a cap, like 600 bucks. That's that's a hundred and eighty dollar monitor, maybe with some shipping or something or some tax or something that I don't know, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. So shipping. Uh, so, yeah, two hundred dollars a monitor, I think, is kind of like where I'm kind of floating around at for an acceptable price point. That's what's up. Four K, two hundred dollar, seventy five. I don't know if there's seventy five hertz or if there's going to be a prime day thing where things are going to be crazier that I can't even understand yet. I don't know. I don't know, but this is fresh. This is fresh. I'm looking at the clock. I, I you, you know, I have to fulfill until seven o'clock today. I'm very excited today to, hey, uh, Natural Sleep Solutions. Hey, what's up? Thanks for popping out. I hope that you're doing very well. We are just getting ready. We got a couple minutes left here before we wrap up our show, and uh, we were just talking about this last highlighted product in our carousel, the Huanuo triple monitor mount. And I love this thing, even though I've never used it. I'm, I love it because I'm excited to set it up and see how it can function well for me. Uh, and we got the steel reinforcement plate here. I ordered two different plates in December. I ordered one. They said it was going to come by the end of the month. It didn't come. Uh, and then like on that date, it was marked as undeliverable. So I ordered a second plate from a different company on Amazon, and that one was also marked undeliverable. Uh, so finally, I wasn't like, I, I was just looking at the plate. I pretty much just took the first plate. The first plate I, I got, I wanted was the Huanuo plate because I bought the Huanuo monitor stand, right? So I wanted the Huanuo plate. That was the first one that I couldn't get. Second one, the name I can't recall. And the third one now is the Zoroli, the, the, the Zanoli. We got the Zanoli reinforcement plate. It's awesome. I know that the monitor is not going to be permanently mounted here, but it is in frame, and that's why we set it up here today so we can see it. It's – oh, whoops, I hit the wrong button on my <laughs> – I hit the wrong button on my thing. Scared me for a second. I thought the table was flipping over. Uh, yeah, so um, – it's great. It's got like this kind of little rubber padding on the bottom of it that helps clamp it to the desk very well. And it's two parts. It's two pieces. I got the instructions here. It comes with the big round plate with the adhesive uh, pad and the uh, small square plate. So this is pretty cool. This is really exciting for me. Um, I can't wait. I'm pretty much thinking that by tomorrow, I guess the laptop's going to be pull, pulled forward way ahead too. 
Like, why did you go for triple monitors and not dual? Because I, I had the ability to get it. And um, I think it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Also, while I'm sure there is a solution, um, there is a dual monitor stand by Huanuo. It only supports up to 27-inch monitors. And I really like computer stuff. And I see that with Amazon Live, um, there's been a great opportunity for me to build my battle station over the last couple months. And uh, while you can always add a new thing and add another thing, I think I'm thinking, I'm hoping that my thought process is accurate when I say, I just feel like I just, I want, I don't need three monitors, but I want that. I have a three monitor set up here, right? Now I can have a four monitor set up because I'm going to do three big monitors on the triple monitor stand and then one monitor out of the laptop. So right now I'm doing three monitors. Uh, soon I'll be running four, which will be crazy soon. I don't know when soon, but soon in the sense that I feel like it's um, like my priority because, uh, you know, I want to I want to build this to the best of my budget. And then like, you know, April, May, June, July, like the spring and summer is coming and it's going to be so nice to be uh, doing a lot of things outside and so like, this isn't a topic that I talk a lot about, but I'm just saying like, it's going to be nice to have some extra folding change in my pocket when those nice weather dates start showing uh, to us, you know what I mean? At the end of April or whatever. So, so I kind of want to like, well, it's cold now and it's, and it's not a difficult task. I kind of want to put the money into the into the into the setup now you know what i mean and i'm not building a pc i got the laptop and the laptop's great so um i can build the battle station and then when it comes time to maybe get a new pc or whatever uh i've already got the whole battle station built and ready to go and that's kind of like how i've been thinking about it i don't multitask and i feel like dual is good for me i uh i do when I do the show, when I do the show, we got one that is showing where, what I'm streaming, my stream yard on one monitor. On my second monitor, I, I'm streaming our Amazon live stream so I know what's going on. And then on my big monitor, um, I'm not using this one right now uh, other than for reference for my product pages. I've been meaning to check my Discord the entire show actually before we end here. Let me do that. No, no, no new devices. No, uh, no, no new messages. <clears throat> okay, let's minimize that. Yeah, so I just, I want the triple monitor set up because I think that it's like something that is better to have, better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. And I realized that like I can start doing a lot of, a lot of multitasking um, you know, I watch a lot of, I do a lot of stuff like, um, about giveaways on the internet. Uh, I like to enter giveaways. Um, like, um, uh, I pay for a website that lists a bunch of giveaways and I can just go there and look at that list and enter them as I please. And oftentimes they want you to do like, uh, follow some things or, or watch some things. And so I like to be able to have all that open in different monitors. Sometimes, sometimes there's like, um, <clears throat> sometimes there's uh, things that are live and they're live on two different social media platforms. So I like to be able to have like all the videos open and all the chats open so that I can monitor it closely to, you know, increase my chance of winning. Hey, what's up, Jennifer Lude? But more monitors gives great monitoring. Yeah, absolutely. And the, and another great thing about the Huanuo triple monitor stand is that no matter, I guess it's good for the dual monitor too. I'm certain that it is. But I'm saying what is great about the triple monitor, what is great about the monitor stands, the monitor arms in general, doesn't matter if it's two or three, is that you can turn the monitors around. I can turn the monitor around and if I'm if I'm having my cameras face me this way, and maybe I'm doing a show with Mima, for example, here on Amazon Live, I can turn a monitor to her, and it can display whatever I want 
you know, or whatever she wants to see. So that's great. So I can keep control of the show and I can still show a monitor to Mima. That's good for different types of multitasking. But, you know, just to cut it down to the truth, like the real truth, uh, it's just cool. <laughs> I just think that it's really cool to have a big, big setup uh, because I never did before. So uh, and I know that uh, setting it up now is like future proofing because my last my last uh, my last computer was a first gen i5. It was like a 13 year old computer before I finally got a new computer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll give you half a penny for your thoughts on product reviews started following. Hey, thank you so much. I need more than a half a penny. Uh, that's it. So, yo, I padded out the hour at seven o'clock. I really want to get this thing set up. I'm super, super stoked on this here. And uh, yeah, so I think that might be the show. It's Monday. We did our whole uh, Jennifer Lute. If you're still here, uh, nobody was here earlier. Um, there were a few people here, but nobody was chatting. And uh, yeah, I just boom, 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 boom. I did my entire carousel in one hour today. I couldn't believe it. I started a little bit late and I wrapped up just after six o'clock my, my product carousel. It was insane. Um, yeah, so I think that's it from me today. It's Monday. It's 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is time to wrap up today's show. I'm going to be back tomorrow. We're going to be talking about some great products uh, again, uh, I don't think that we got anything. Uh, I got some, maybe some new stuff to talk about. Uh, but I don't know. We talked about the keyboard yesterday, but I finally officially added it to my product list. So hopefully we'll be able to talk about the Logitech K400 and that'll be really cool. But, uh, oh, thank you so much, Sheila B. I like you, Sheila B. You're so nice to me. Uh, I like that. Thank you for being friendly and, and polite and validating my experience here on Amazon Live today by telling me that I did good. I'm not joking around. I really, really love that. I like to be liked. I can't deny that is a truth about me. I like to be liked. I like to create content and I like to create content that people like to consume. So it really, really does mean a lot to me when, when, when I hear something like that from somebody like you. So thank you so much. You're the bomb. You're the bomb. I look forward to seeing the keyboard. We talked about it um, yesterday or on Friday's show. Uh, I realized that this is the, I'm going to talk about it on a show, but uh, this is the older version and they have a newer version. And we looked at both of them, I think on Friday's show at the end of the show, I think it was maybe Cody Lake or somebody was saying that they wanted to get a keyboard and they, and they saw mine uh, on the desk. And usually I hide my keyboard. Like I, I try to hide it um, when I'm streaming and, uh, and I think Cody saw it was like, yeah, this is cool. What, tell me about your keyboard. And I was like, Oh, I can't because when I first started Amazon live streaming, it was currently unavailable. They just weren't there. And uh, now they are. Now they are. This is the Logitech K400. That's all I'll say. If you want to look it up and check it out. But they have the 400 plus and the differences are small. But uh, it was worth a long enough conversation to really flesh out how we thought about it. And what both Cody and I came to agree on was that the older version was a better keyboard uh, based on its button layout. So yeah, I think that's it then. I love everybody for coming out and watching the show. I really do. I wish that uh, we could hang out a little bit longer, but I've already done two hour stream today and I'm really, really stoked to do this. So I'm going to get out of here now and do this. I'm excited to show it to you tomorrow. Even if it's not in my carousel, I'll be certain to add both of these things to the to the carousel tomorrow so that we can talk about it and see it all set up at least one arm at least one of the two movable arms are going to be set up because there's no point to set this arm up over here it's just going to be in my way all the time uh with no monitor on it so yeah uh monitor monitor stand stand tomorrow tomorrow you know what i'm saying and that's it so uh margaret thank you for coming out and joining our show cool shopper thank you as well uh for joining me here on clown live today this has been an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. I've been your host, Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. 
And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to hit end stream now. See you later, G Zone. And uh, <clears throat> that's it. So I'm hitting end stream now, and I'll catch you all here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's basically 22 hours from now. Okay. So that's it from me. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Whoop, whoop. Much clown love, and I'll see you then. Bye, everybody.